Morning. So this is the uh, uh, cardio day, active rest day. So um, finished the um, finished the strength routine for the week, and now we go on Friday and Saturday where I just do cardio, um, active rest. I just try to keep. 500 to 1,000 calories of cardio, no resistance. Um, I'm really dehydrated, I've got a banging headache. I'm aching. I kind of feel like shit, to be honest. Although, um, I was in the, in the car for quite a while with aircon yesterday. Um, and so that often makes me feel a bit funky. I've also gained like 0.2 of a pound or something, but again, travel does that to me. I get all water retention-y and headache-y. <sighs> so I'm um, heading down to the gym, going to do between 5 and 10k on the treadmill, so you know, quite a jog, and then And it's Friday! Yay! That always makes me happy. It's been such a tough week. There's so much going on with work at the moment. We've got new projects and uh, some really complex projects that I'm sort of taking over. So, as a software developer, that's always a challenge when you're taking over somebody else's work or something that's been established for quite some time and you've got to learn it. Even if you understand how the the nuts and bolts underneath work. Um, you've still got to work out why things were done a certain way. You get a lot of software developers who will always um, slag off, they'll always slate other software developers when they take on a project. They'll always say, oh this is crap, they've done this crap, this is all crap, I need to do it my way. And that's one of the most annoying things because you, more, any decent software developer will Will have, at some point in their career will have had to cut corners. You have how long something should take versus how long the company are prepared to wait for the thing. And you almost always have to compromise and say, guys, you know, we can uh, do this the right way and it's going to take three weeks. And they're like, oh, no, no, three weeks is too long. It's like, well, okay, we can cut corners, but it's going to be a bit crap. It'll do what you want, but it's not going to be very elegant. Like, yes, do that way. Because most companies don't understand the importance of uh, not accruing technical debt. And then, when that developer is left, and somebody else comes in, and they're like, well, this is all crap. And they're like, oh, yes, uh, the developer must have been rubbish. I <laughs> think, no, they were just working under the constraints that the company sets for them. So, you need to find that balance. And uh, my ass is boiling. My, my seat heater is on. What the fuck? That's not dark. I do not want, I'm just going to say I don't want a hot ass. I, want a, I do want a hot ass, but not a boiling hot ass. The fuck am I talking about? I haven't had a Red Bull, that's the problem. Red Bull powers activate. Now we're cooking our gas. Probably will be when it's kicked in. I'm absolutely useless in the mornings. Can I've had some caffeine. So I'm fasted again, I haven't eaten this morning. I got up quite late and then rushed around the house to head to the gym. I can never remember whether I'm supposed to train fasted or fueled for cardio. I'm not convinced it makes that much of a difference when you look at the science behind it. I've, you know, um, but. <laughs> My energy levels are low, 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 low right now. I just want to go back to bed. Whew. This is why I'm doing this though, so then, you know, I'm getting a phenomenal feedback from these videos, which is really nice. So, um, I'm just going to keep doing this, and, um, but now that I've committed to it, I've got to keep doing it, because people are like, where's your video today? Well, I was in bed. <laughs> it's 
not so beautiful morning. It's very, very nice. It's uh, it's cool. It's only 13 degrees, but um, it's lovely. Blue skies, sun is coming up. It's a good time to be alive. After all, the ship is going on. There's a lot of shit going on. There's always a lot of shit going on, isn't there? That's a bit universal. Somewhere in the world, shit is happening. Some daft fucker wants to do stuff, and some other daft fucker doesn't, and then they have a fight, and then everyone gets dragged into it. I'm talking shit. There you go. Come on, caffeine, do your thing. I didn't realise it was quite so nice if I'd known it was this pleasant. I wouldn't have come to the gym, I'd have just ran outside. Cheeky little 5k or something like that. But there we are. My weight does this really odd thing where I lose progressively for um, you know the best part of a week. Then I'll have this weird spike and I'll feel headachey and a bit crappy and my weight will go up. You know, sometimes for several pounds. And then a day or two will pass, and then it'll literally crash down again overnight. And that'll be lower than, you know, when this little spike goes. And it's done it forever. It's almost as if whenever I do a heavy weight session, a few days later I'll gain weight. And it seems to be fluidy. And as the DOMS fades away, so does the weight. So I think it's some sort of strange water retention stuff going on. I don't understand. I'm not a medical doctor. Alrighty then. Hit that treadmill, Jim's just opened, got my sweat on. It's one of the sort of, um, you know, I, I, cardio's boring, but you put some good tunes on. Um, I've also got Pokemon on my phone, and I'll drop up one of the little lures on the Pokestop nearby and catch me some Pokemon. I know, don't judge. And, um, yeah, I'll see you in about an hour. Bye. <sighs> Cardio den. So that was interesting. I haven't done a 5k in a long time, about two months. Um, <laughs> that was easy. That was the easiest one I've ever done um, by a mile. And I, 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 you know, barely broke a sweat. And um, this is something I, I keep noticing, and I don't quite understand the science behind this. But I'm getting fitter much faster than I'm losing weight, if that makes sense. The, I can lose a little bit of weight, but I'll have a whole ton of gains in strength, in fitness. Um, I mean, I did that 5k like I was a runner, and I'm not. I'm, you know, a morbidly obese land whale. So, I don't quite understand how that works. Um, and if I'm honest, I would happily trade it. I'd rather be slightly less fit and look a bit better. So, but I, I, I don't understand. I'll have to ask Kellen about that. I'll post it in a group later, actually. Um, yeah, but that was good. So I, need to, I think I need to up it now. Um, add some Tabata, because I'm, I'm, I finished that. And I did, I did what I planned to do, which was nice, caffeine. But I didn't feel depleted after it. I actually felt more like I had only just warmed up. Um, and I noticed my running has improved dramatically over the last 12 months. So I think I need to throw in a Tabata finisher or something, some, you know, star jumps or some, um, some blood shunting. Just something to really empty the tank. Maybe that'll also speed up the weight loss as well, I'm not sure. The thing is, most um, most plans, most fitness things you'll read about are normally with fairly young subjects. Um, there's very few um, studies done on quite old, morbidly obese people. <laughs> so I'm kind of I'm kind of having to make up the rules, or you know. Um, 
work a lot of these things out because I'm off the curve. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm not typical for the sort of Jim Bunny demographic. Although, amazingly, despite the fact that I'm not typical and that very few people on Facebook land know what my goals are or have the benefit of the context of my, you know, of the routine I'm already doing, you will always, 100% guaranteed, get somebody, I'll put, I'll, I literally, I'll make a post about something I'm doing in the gym and within five minutes some internet expert will say, oh, what you're doing is shit, you should do my plan. I'm like, really? Because, you know, you've, you don't know anything about my current plan, so how can you tell me that your plan is better? Buy this thing! You want this magic supplement? Fuck off! Which is what I want to say. What I normally politely say is, oh, oh thanks for your input, but I'm already on a plan. Inside I'm thinking, you know nothing about me! Fuck off, you fucking sofa troll! You can use that, sofa trial. It's quite funny. <sighs> Cardio day done. Happy it's done, but I don't feel like I've achieved much on this morning's one. Although the fact that I don't feel like I've achieved much is kind of an achievement, because that was easy. So that's good. Yeah, so there we go. That's, um, that's the end of my uh, training week my end of my gym session as I think I might I might come and do some more cardio later um, we'll see but also um, you know I've done 10 gym sessions this week which I think is pretty good um, quite a bit of treadmill stuff in the house which I think is pretty good so off to off to um, it's a good week it's a solid week I think difference between a weed and a flower? There's weeds. Flower, don't they?